Hello, welcome to Sue's in the Shed. Today I'm going to show you how to sew a button on using your sewing machine. Once you get the hang of this, you can get loads of buttons sewn on in really quick time. It just takes a little bit of practice. So the first thing you need to do is prepare your machine. I'm going to take this platform off to give me a smaller area, a free arm because I'm sewing buttons on headbands and I need the headbands to fit around this part of the machine. And then you have to change the presser foot. So we'll just take that one off like that. And this is the foot that you're looking for that comes with your machine and it's a button foot. I'm just going to pop that in like that. Okay, right. So the next thing we need to do is set our machine. Um, I'm using the Brother Inovis. So I'm just about to set my machine up. At the minute I'm on a straight stitch, which is two and a half millimetres long. And what I want is a zigzag stitch. So we'll pick that one. Um, and I want to adapt that. And I know that this button that I'm using is 4.5 millimetres because I've sewn it on a lot. Um, check it, check that it goes in the holes and adjust that and then write it down for what you know if you're going to use that button many many times write it down so you don't forget makes life so much easier so i'm going to change that to four and a half and you want this one this is really important you want this one on zero because you don't want your machine moving forward because your needle will then hit your button and it'll break so we'll get that right down to zero And then I'm ready to start. So these are what I'm going to sew the buttons onto. It's a stretchy headband for masks. And it would take ages to sew the buttons on by hand. So I'm going to use the machine. So the first thing I do is position the piece of fabric in. This is probably an awkward thing to sew a button onto as a complete beginner. Because um, it's shaped at the end. And what I want to do is try and avoid over sewing the edges in so if you're going to sew buttons on i suggest you get a piece of flat fabric first and have a little play before attempting something that's got a bit of shape to it so i'm just going to lift the presser foot up and hold it hold it there to um, grip the button and i apologize for keep jerking the camera it's really in my way So just a little bit of manipulation to get it where I want it to be. And if you can see, I've positioned the two holes, the two far furthest away holes, each side of my needle. And the first thing I'm going to do is use the hand wheel at the side of the machine to check that needle goes into each hole comfortably before I hit the go button. Otherwise your needle is going to hit the button and it's going to break. So I always check that first. If it doesn't fit, tweak your settings and try it again. And once that's in place, I'm going to hit the go button and I'm going to allow it to do about 10 movements. Once I've put the presser foot down. And we'll cut that off. Uh, I've got a clever machine with a pair of scissors on it. We'll just move that forward to the next set of holes. I'm going to do it again. Double check that the needle goes into each hole separately. And you can hit your go button or you might have a foot pedal. Got 10 movements. Put it off. Slowly take it out. You can just trim them off. And there's your button and it literally takes seconds. Hope this helps. Enjoy.